So today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm uh, preparing a uh, participation game that I'm taking to Charlcon uh, here in Central Victoria in uh, mid January 2021, and so um, I'm going to be um, hosting a never mind the Bill Hooks game based on the Battle of Bosworth. Um, never mind the Bill Hooks is a set of rules specifically designed for large uh, large skirmish games, but um, I think it's perfectly adaptable to um, larger battles or engagements. So um, here's what I've come up with. Um, what I'll do is I'll go through uh, the rules for the scenario. Um, I recommend you have a look at never mind the bill hooks. You can purchase the rules for about six pounds, I think, from War Games Illustrated um, uh, webpage, and um, have a look through the rules if you haven't already got them, uh, or maybe have a look at some of the other battles that I've uh, shown on the channel here. Um, then I'll go through the specific scenario rules and all bats for the game, and then we'll launch straight into it. So let's look at the Tudor forces. Um, Henry Tudor is ranked as a commander, so he has two order tokens and he commands a unit of knights and a mixed unit of bill and bow. Uh, the Earl of Oxford, the main battlefield commander for the Tudor forces, he is classed as a hero with three order tokens. He commands two mixed units of bow and bill. The billmen are uh, classed as veterans and a mixed unit of bow and men-at-arms and the men-at-arms are classed as veterans. Uh, next, we'll look at the right flank. Uh, the Tudors there are, consist of Two units uh, of uh, pikemen, uh, a double strength uh, French veteran pike block, and a double strength uh, normal uh, Scottish pike block. Uh, notionally, um, they're commanded by Talbot, and uh, his command rating is diced for um, at the start of the game. So he could be a Dalt or uh, just a commander, but not a hero. Uh, next, we look at for the Tudors is the left flank, which is a single unit of light horse. Uh, they're commanded by Lord Savage. He is rated as a Dolt, so only one command token. Um, but he also uh, is activated on the skirmish card. So he doesn't have a card of his own. So he's activated on the skirmish card. And so consequently, he can also command uh, the skirmishers, which consist of uh, a unit of French crossbowmen, a unit of French handgunners, and a cannon. So now let's look at um, the forces of Richard III. Richard commands a unit of knights, and he also commands a unit, mixed unit of uh, men at arms and archers. Um, in the centre, uh, we have uh, the Duke of Norfolk, and he commands two units of mixed bill and bow, and a mixed unit of men-at-arms and bow. And then finally, um, the reserve is commanded by the Duke of North, uh, sorry, the Earl of Northumberland, and he commands a unit of knights, a unit of uh, mixed bill and bow. And finally, we have the Stanleys, the wild card. Uh, they consist of two units of uh, longbowmen and a unit of light horse uh, with a smattering of knights in them. Uh, so they'll move as knights, uh, but they'll fight as veteran light horse. So now let's look at the terrain. Um, the, uh, well, I'm gonna be playing this game on a six by four table. The terrain itself is dominated by Ambien Hill. That is where Richard III's forces are arrayed. And you can see on the map here exactly how they're arrayed. Um, and um, Henry Tudor's forces are um, to the south uh, west of the hill and then uh, the forces of the Stanleys um, they're arrayed uh, just south of the other dominant terrain feature which is the marshy ground um, now there are a variety of maps and uh, views and commentary on exactly how the terrain um, what the terrain was where these forces clashed um, but in this video, you'll see how I've laid out the terrain and, and basically I've gone with what I think is the most plausible um, 
deployment. Um, the way I'll be playing the um, game or hosting this game is um, basically forces of uh, Henry Tudor and Richard III will be deployed 30 inches apart, which is cannon shot range. So artillery will be able to start firing uh, right from the get-go. Um, basically, uh, Richard's forces will be arrayed on the hills. Um, Northumberland's forces will be to the left rear of Richard III and over 12 inches away. So uh, Henry has to move um, to activate or to parlay with Northumberland. Um, and the Stanleys are basically the play, well, they'll be deployed off table, but for today's game, I've just put them uh, on table and um, to the south of the marshy ground. Uh, without further ado, let's get on with it. All right, so there's no, there's no manoeuvre phase because the scenario doesn't require any manoeuvre. It's all preset. So... So basically... Now what happened is these guys were in a camp. Yeah. These guys sort of like just started advancing towards them. It sort of like took them by surprise and went, shit, they're attacking us. Yeah. We're on high ground, why are they doing this? Um, and there's, you know, um, he then sent a rider to Stanley and said, look, you know, King Richard de uh, demands that you fall on the, the rebels, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. Uh, if you don't, we'll kill your son. Yeah. Whereupon Stanley replied, tell the king I have more sons. Mm. But never committed either way. Mm -hmm. At the same time, Henry had sent a guy over and he said to the, the herald from Henry, he said, um, tell your master I'll attend, I'll attend to him in my good time. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> he was like, what well, does that mean? <laughs> um, and then, of course, Percy, Lord Percy, the Earl of... Um, I said, yeah, uh, or not Earl of Northumberland, he's sort of like, mm, let's see what happens. All right, so the, the deck is drawn, there's no manoeuvre phase. Do you want to split it or do you want to just no. draw it? No, it's fine. All right, so we'll split the deck. Now we know he's a hero and we know that uh, Norfolk's a hero, we know Oxford's a hero, and we know Henry is just normal. Mm -hmm. The rest of the guys, when the card first comes up, that's when we'll die from. Okay. There's nothing like a bit of suspense. Oxford. <laughs> I'm thinking Norfolk. Yeah. yeah, Oxford. Your guys. All right. Um, yeah. Obviously, for a moment there, King Richard thought Oxford was on his side. <laughs> he's, he's been disimbued of that. Yes. All right, so Oxford, what does he want to do? Um, well, oddly enough. Uh... Now, remember, for every turn that you advance, yeah. if you're advancing, you get an extra. There's an extra chance that Stanley will. It's a plus one to your roll to see yeah. if Stanley commits to your. But that doesn't happen until turn the end of turn two. Mm -hmm. So now, it's the beginning of turn three. The cannon. Thirty inches is its range. Mm -hmm. Now it acts on the skirmisher card, or you can order it to fire. What does it mean? Uh, if he orders it to fire, that's just one of his order tokens. That's all. Yeah, and but at thirty inches, 30 now, inches. does he get to fire? Maximum range for archers is 15. Mm -hmm. So there's no need of that yet. No. A cannon. And can it only fire at the cannon? No, no. It can fire 45 degrees. Yeah, okay. So pretty much anything. So he could shoot at anything he wants. Okay, so. Um, but like I said, it's, um, it's, it's an order. It's, okay. it's an order to do that. So there's my little 45 degree marker. Right. So as you can see. Yeah. Well, he is going to fire. Yeah at those archers there. Uh-huh. Um, here. Yep. Complain me. And that? That's one order. That's one order. Now, what, he's going to order his other men to do anything? Like advance or anything like that? Well, the fire first. And okay. Then, well, then he decides what he's going to do. Okay, so it's six dice. Yep. Now, where's my dice tray? We don't need a dice tray. Just roll it on the table. Don't roll more ones than roll two Ooh. ones. And how many sixes? One, one. six. So that's three one. Fives. Okay, so one hit. So that's a casualty on um, first casualty of the day on some archers. 
These ones, was it? Yes. Yep. No, no, no. Uh, the, these guys here. These guys there. Yep. All right. They're taken. Yep. All right. So that's the first turkey cube today. So go. The bounders. Now what's a, he's got two more orders left. Is he going to order his uh, battles for? Or? What's actually what he's going to do is he's going to order. I know this is out of sequence, yeah. but he's going to order both skirmishers to advance. All right, no worries. I was going to say the skirmish screen head off. The stick up. Yeah, yeah. They can move eight inches, or they can go sixteen. If they go move, move. Uh, no, they'll just go move. Uh, so which is eight? They can go eight. Oh, six. Yeah. Um, yeah, because sixteen will be a little too close. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they don't want to get under the bow. Yeah. Of. Um, So it should be like that. Yeah, they're basically a, a base apart. But they, they can't be. No. <laughs> <laughs> so because it, because it should be only about a one. Yeah, the so, same. But it's it's, it's the thing with the skirmishes. It's just common sense. Actually, so sorry. So he's going to have them advance yep. and then them advance. All right. So he's going to give that that order to the, yeah those guys. To those guys. All right. Um, now they move six inches because they're a block. Yeah. So. Yeah. There. I, thought, I wasn't wondering if that was one big block. No, no, no. it's just there. Okay. near each other. Uh, so that's one, two, three. Three. That's Oxford done. Yeah. Next one out. Ooh, there's a bonus card. Can we roll for it? See if he gets the bonus card. Four. Yeah. Not a bad chance. Six, six. Well, you've got the bonus card. So, uh, we go to the bonus deck. Shuffle like a drunk man. So I'll just cut it. And there's your first card. Now you have bonus cards, you have to use in the turn that they're drawn. Okay. But at any point in the turn, you don't have yeah. to use it. Probably right should away. probably shuffle up the special events. Yeah, okay. Okay, so the next one out is Lancastrian Skirmishes and Artillery. Okay. Now, which only leaves the Them. crossbowmen, yeah. the French crossbowmen. So they will advance. <laughs> now they could go, like I said, either eight or up to, they could move considerably up to 16 inches. Mm -hmm. If they use both their turns. Now we will advance one. Yep. And all skirmishes shoot one foot. Yeah, probably because two flames. Two. Oh, Savage. Oh, so we have to dice for him. Yep, and it's dice to see how he performs. Uh, it's one, two dice, two Oh, dice. actually, Savage operates on the uh, skirmish card, doesn't he? Yeah, he oh, operates on the skirmish card. Oh, but so, uh, so it could be either one that... Yeah, yeah he's yeah, got to yeah. roll for his quality, though. Yeah, so... And then you can decide if you want to move him now, or... Um, yeah, okay, so... Um, two dice? Just, no, just one d6, and we see what kind of guy he is. Five. He's a normal guy, so he has two commands. Okay. But he can only use them on his own guys anyway. Yeah. So, so, but he will. So he will advance then. Yep. So he can move ten. So he can go considerably twenty inches. Uh, yeah. So ten and ten. Up to twenty inches, he could go. That's twelve. So another eight. On top yeah. of that. He is just going to move up in line with yep. the, uh, the the skirmishing. The skirmishing. All right. Hand gunners. Norfolk. All right, the man on the hill. Well, he is going God, to. He's heavy. <laughs> he's going to tell everyone to advance. So, one for these guys, one for them, one for them. So they're going to go forward six, which will put them at long range to shoot them. We'll go through the. We'll advance through these guys here. So he's doing as per. I'm going to run these these Yorkists as they were ran on the day by the actual. Because on on the day I'm not going to be running the game. Yeah. I'm just going to be hosting it. And what they did is they went. We'll have none of this. So they came down the hill. So they're all going to move once and then shoot. Right. And that'll be long range, long range. 
long range. All right, so it will be 12, 12, and 12. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so first shot at these guys, I'll hit on sixes, close to the range. Yeah. Wow, one, two, three, four, five. Five hits. Five. That's good shooting. <laughs> Oh, That's like amazing wing shooting. Yeah. So five hits on the cavalry, they save on four plus. Save on five plus. Is it uh, five plus for light horse? Yeah. Um, only four, five, or six in melee. Oh, okay. So, Ooh, four save saves. four. Yeah, that took one hit. Only one hit. Right, so, down goes the trumpeter. All right, um, these 12 are gonna shoot at those skirmishes. One, two hits. So, and saving on five plus. These ones? Yeah, these ones. Yeah. No, no. Hit. no, so it's um, two dead. And then 11, because they were a bit of casualty, at these guys here. One, two, three, three hits on this on the crossbow. No saves. Jeez, they'll have to do a a uh, dormant test because they're reduced to half strength. Yeah, and that's at now the, at, the, the, end, at the end of the turn because it's uh, from bow fire, not um, not from Malay. All right. So that's Oxford. Uh, that's Norfolk done. Well done, Norfolk. Oh, Henry the Seventh. Or the, the wannabe, it's Henry Tudor. He wants to be Henry the Seventh. Yeah. Whether he will be is anyone's guess. Uh, now he's normal, so he has two dice. Uh, so they're going to. Yeah, they're just going to advance. Okay. Uh, so knights, they go eight inches, and then so uh, they're only going to go four. six because they've got them in yeah. front. Yeah. I should put a question mark. Henry the seventh question mark. <laughs> and then yeah. the other guys and go uh, six. Retinue bowmen and um, they go six. Yeah, they go six. Well, they could go twelve actually because um, they oh, could, yeah. well, they're, they're so they're they're shooting. They're going to. Really move up close behind him. Yeah, yeah. In support. Richard. Right. Well, Richard is going to uh, move to. Okay, so yeah. I'm playing a bonus card okay. on, on Richard. Yep. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, go on. I said he's going to move, so that's the first thing he's going to do, and then he's going to. So, so he's going to move. Yeah. And what's the bonus card? What's it do? So him from forfeit. Uh, he when it is given an order token, so he yeah. can only do one, one action. Not act two actions. Okay. So Richard can only do one action. Okay. So now I'll just quickly explain the um, the details of the scenario rules for interactions between Richard the Third and uh, Northumberland. To get Northumberland to commit to uh, the battle, uh, Richard has to be first within twelve inches of Northumberland. He then has to dispatch a herald, and then he can use his third action to uh, modify the dice roll that sees um, Northumberland commit to battle. Um, if he's already within 12 inches of Northumberland and he's already dispatched a, her a herald, then he can use all three command initiatives if he wants, uh, trying to persuade Northumberland to commit to battle. Um, but you can see that the problem here for Richard is if he spends all his command initiatives um, or command orders um, trying to influence Northumberland, he cannot himself commit to the battle and participate actively in the battle. So it's a risk versus gain kind of situation. Moving and then um, chatting with this chap, he can simply uh, move. Now, the thing is, it's gonna cause him to go into disarray because he's not going forward. Yeah. So this is the problem that Richard has 
but hey, it's 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 a not it's not an easy job being king. So he's just going to move back essentially to here. Yeah. But it just means his guys are in disarray. Okay. And then I'll just put that there. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, <coughs> instead of the that. herald riding off, he's still with him. So I can't send the herald off to do anything. And he's in disarray. Yeah, but he's still within. Um, he still has uh, two commands. Mm -hmm. So he's going to tell these guys advance. And so they're going to go down. Yep. Now they'll just go six inches. I'll just maintain. And um, yeah, that's it. All right. Um, so he can't he can't actually add the plus one this yeah. turn, which is the other action that he was going yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, which is herald. which is why I thought yeah. <laughs> so it's going to take you a little longer. Yeah. It's like hey, I need you to get up here. I'm doing a we're doing a no, okay. Oh, no thumbling. He does nothing. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, so should he actually be in the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He still we still put him in there because okay. he but, could have done something. What about Stanley? Ah, uh, no, Stanley has to be convinced to pick a side. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, Yorker skirmishes and artillery. Well, okay. There's supposed to be a gap. Not exactly an element wide. Yeah. So he can shoot through here, which means he'll shoot at your cannon, and he'll shoot through here, which means he'll shoot at those guys there. Yeah. So we'll do the the this cannon first. Pop. Six. Yeah, six dice. One. So uh, kills a archer. So I'll just put a casualty on the archer. Yep. Um, but he's five. Complain me. And then this cannon, boom, is going to shoot your cannon. So it's only yeah. three dice. Because I'm shooting at a cannon. No hits. Yeah. Four. And then the skirmishes. Um, they'll yeah, come dashing move. forward, so they can interpenetrate easily if they do, and then they'll have a shot. These handgunners will have a shot at those handgunners. Mm -hmm. So within twelve, that's all right. So they're hitting on sixes. That's what shooting at skirmishes, or if they die, are they all the dice hard? Just check. Skirmishes shooting at skirmishes. So we're going to skirmishes and archers. Uh, uh, I know it's ineffective, but. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't remember if it's. They hit, if they, their effects are, are halved or if they halve their dice. I think it's if their effects are halved. I think when they fire, they. Um, All right, so half dice, so hitting on fives and sixes. Oh, one hit. Now they roll to save because they're getting shot at by skirmishes. So they're saving a five and a six. Three, three. All right, so they've got to do a daunted test as well because now they're half strength. Mm. Um, okay, so here's next out of the deck. A bonus card, which means Talbot doesn't get to activate this turn. All right, so we roll to see if you get the four. I'm nothing if not consistent. Six, you've got it again. Um, and basically, I have to use it. Yep, you have to use it right away, or oh. you might not be able to. Okay, if I can't, yeah. that's it. All so right, it so goes. it goes back in here, we get dead pile. And so we're now, before the end of the turn, we remove on any smoke, mm -hmm. and then we roll for any daunted units to see how they react. And it's so, so if we flip it over here, two d six. No, not for the skirmishes. It's oh, always one d six. Okay. They're a little bit more fragile. So they are both lost three. Yeah. So uh, they need they pass on a five or a six, and they fail on anything less. And if they're broken, they're just lifted. So red's left. So this one? Red's left, yep, green's right. Oh, okay, red's left. Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, so they're broken. Yeah. Oh, no, the other one's passed. Yeah. All right, so red's left. Yeah, so the handgunners go poof. Yeah. 
but the French crossbowmen go, we're made of sterner stuff. And they're still daunted though. No. Oh yeah, they are. For every turn they'll be, they must be below half strength, they have to keep rolling. So the orders or go back. go back into the commanders. And uh, we start turn, um, we, any bonus cards with that hadn't been used would no. be get used now. Yeah, yeah, that's already been done. Uh, okay, we don't roll for anyone at this stage because it's only at the beginning of turn mm -hmm. two. <laughs> and you can cut it and you can draw it if you're so inclined. And the first guy out is... Oh, your skirmishes and artillery yeah. activating now because there's only one skirmish card for them. So yeah, he. Oh, I he, thought there were two. No, no, there's, oh, there's two skirmish cards, but they're for different sides. So, oh, right, right. Okay. So he yeah, activates on that. Right. Um, okay. Did we roll to see what kind of quality leader he was? Yeah, he was normal. Oh, okay. So he's got two commands. All right. Uh, so but you he should have... only use it on his. Oh, yeah. I mean, these guys activate automatically. Yeah. Um, and then you just decide whether or not what he wants to do. Now, he could charge. Yeah. He's in a position where he could charge. Charge, uh, except then they'll retire on the billman. And well, then... there's no, there's no. Oh, there's no commander. Ha, 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 so ha, we have ha, to ha, dice for right, it. We have right. to dice. So, well, the first thing I am going to do. And you're not within one charge, so they would be able to get react. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, the first thing I am going to do, though, yeah. is um, fire my. Can I? Are they? Yeah, yeah. They're within range. Uh, uh, no, they're not. No, they're not. That's right. They're in range of them, but they've only got a 12-inch range. Okay. So a long bow can shoot further. So they'll advance and, and fire? Shoot. Yeah. Uh, and they just have to advance? Just to get within 12 inches. That's it. There. And uh, so they three dice hitting on um, five or six. Because they're skirmishers. Uh, that's six, five, one six. Oh, well, that, but it's, it's, they're fives as well. No, they're fours. Oh, sorry. Of course they are. I before V, except that's after. right. <laughs> so one hit on these guys. They save on a five or a six because they're archers. They've oh. saved. All right. All right, the cannon. The great the goon. Fire. fire the great goon. Kablammy. And um, same. These archers again. Yeah. Yep. Six dice. Don't roll three ones. No three ones. There's no ones at all. There's so, hitting on sixes. Three. Jeez, that was wicked. That's three dead. So four. Because you can't save against the crack the cannon. Yeah. It's like, ow. <laughs> and then charge. Yeah. All right. So you uh, do you charge, but because you can't hit me in the first phase, I get to to react. Yeah. So just hang back a little because yeah. it'll depend on what how they react. So. Um, one, two, or three, they fail. They'll well, one, two, or three, they'll shoot. Yeah. Four, five, or six, they'll pass back. Yeah. They pass, pass back. back. So it's, they simply just swap places. They yeah. lose ground, and these guys now crash into the billman. Mm -hmm. Eesh. All right. Now you have a leader there. Yeah. Uh, now um, I get one dice per man plus. Um, uh, the front rank of these guys, mm -hmm. but they're only half a man each. So that's three and 12. So I've got 15. Okay. And I've got... You get one and a half per man. Plus two for, you get yep. two automatic hits from, from him. him. So one, two, three, four, five, so six, two seven. Automatic hits. So you've got seven, which is um, seven and four is 11. And I've got 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I've got 15. And you've got some very brave light horsemen charging in. And you've got 11. Yep. Now you've got two automatic hits from Yeah, well that's the, the two there. Yep. So fives and sixes. Four hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
What? Nine. Nine hits? No, I've still got one more to roll. Ten. Ten hits? Ten hits. Holy crap. Yeah. That's good rolling. Yeah. It was four, fives, and sixes. Did you did you roll four, fives, and sixes or just fives and sixes? Fives and sixes. Okay, we'll roll them again if you want because it's four, fives, and sixes the first round of Shit. Malay. Yeah. And there was some fours and there was at least two fours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we'll put two, just put two more in. Oh. If it was at least two, then put two more in. I can always check it on the camera, but... but well, actually... We, yeah, we can, we can have a quick look. So, after a quick consultation of the camera, we've worked out. You've got, you've got seven there, yeah? Yep. Plus two... Plus two. ...is nine. And I've got ten. So it's pretty close. Plus yeah. So I've got ten hits. Now, okay. so you roll your... your and uh, I ten. save four, five, or six yeah, in me. Yeah, yeah, so you've got ten hits on you, and you're saving on four, five, or six. So one is not, yeah. another one is not, right. a three and a two are not, right. but everything else is. But you saved one, two, three, four, five, six, but you lost four, yeah? Four. So four go down, which means there's, a, um, that's two above two. Yeah. So you have to roll two and don't roll any sixes. Or ones, isn't it? Or ones, yeah, you're right, ones. So he's okay, so he's still in the fight. But four of them are deaded. That's over. 50, so they're going to have to do an immediate um, daunted uh, test. Okay. Um, so, cavalry, yeah. 1d6 plus 1. Yep. Yeah. I've lost 4. Yeah. Uh, 5, actually. You're 5 down all up. Because you start with 8. Oh, sorry, so it's a total. Yeah. Yeah. So you would have started with 8, um, and you're down to. So I've lost 5. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bible up. Okay. Oh, it's <laughs> Try again. Four. Four. Dom's broken. They're broken. All right. So they'll go poof. And for old Talbot, uh, sorry, Savage goes with them. Okay. Okay, now my guys. So I've lost a unit yeah. and a commander. That's right. So that's three flags all up. Uh, three, three, um, Coins. Yeah. All right, now I roll for my guys. They've got uh, nine hits on them, so I've got to roll nine dice and see how many I can save. Two, four, what's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many do they save? Now they're men at arm, so they're billmen, so they save on uh, four plus, I think, billmen? Yes. One dead, two dead. Three dead, so three of them perished. So they've got three casualties on them, which is not enough to trigger a test. Mm -hmm. So they held. So they had these light horsemen charge into them. The bowmen went. Oh, trying to get in the dodge. Yeah. They stopped well, I was back. Hoping that they'd be a little more effective. They, they were lucky because it was nine to it was nine to ten casualties yeah. wise. Yeah. And you, it was a 50-50 that we're going to catch the archers. If it was an archers, I would have only been rolling six dice yeah. in defense. So, and they and then they die easier as well. Yeah. So it was worth, it was a 50-50 Hail Mary. And if you <laughs> killed them, there was a good chance you'd take them to... to, to yeah, make them so run. So it was... It's, it's not... It's just, my 50-50s never work out. It was, <laughs> it was unfortunate. All right. Norfolk. Hmm. Well, again. One, two... Free, and he's just going to go forward and then shoot. Uh, so six inches. It's like he's trying to have the best of these guys. Well, he won't be able to go forward and shoot, mm. uh, but he could pass the guys through for and then move forward, or he could just go forward with the bowman in the front. So we'll probably he's been really fortunate with the the cards the. The Yorkists, mm -hmm. because they're able to roll forward. So if the skirmish card comes up, they'll be able to go forward with the handgunners again. So they've been lucky like that. Um, he's gone well. We've got Billman in the front. Let's keep going with that. Um, he's shot. Um, he's shot. 
see if we can finish them off. Uh, but there are only eight guys there because they've got four casualties. Hitting on fives and sixes this time. Not a hit. Cool. All right. Okay. These guys. We'll shoot at them. Hitting on um, four plus. At that range. Oh no, no, hang on. It's still five, six at any range up to twelve. Yeah. Shoot. Oh no, sorry. What am I saying? Oh. It's nine. I think it's nine. Six at long. Yeah. So it's still long. So. Hitting on sixes. Yeah. So that's his second shot. And so anything over anything over nine. Yeah. This is long range. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Three hits. Saving on five plus. Oh, oh save one. So two. 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 So they've got three casualties now. The next card out is Richard. Right, he will get his men back. He'll remove the disarray and he will send the Herald um, dancing off to uh, Northumberland. Mm -hmm. uh, when Northumberland's card comes up, we'll see if we can convince him to pitch in. All right, um, so it's one to remove the disarray, one to send the Herald, and plus one to the roll for those yep. guys. All right, um, Henry. Oh. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. Yeah, yeah except damn footmen are in the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the run of the cards is not, he's seized the initiative, but Oxford hasn't. That was like, um, but mind you, he is the commander in chief, so yeah. he can. Well, he's doing. Yeah. Oh, that's right. He could say, "Oxford, move." Yeah. So he'll you, he'll. He could order Oxford to move. Uh, are they in twelve inches? Yes. Okay, so he'll order them to shoot twice. Yep. Oh, good, good call. All right. So that will be. Now they've got three casualties, so it uh, means it's nine and nine. It's eighteen shots. Okay. Hitting uh, one, sixes. Now, who are they shooting at? The Billman or the Bowman? The Billman. All right. If they're harder to kill. Yeah. But they are on the flank. So, one, two, three, what was it, six? Four, five, six. Yeah. You could re roll that one. Because that was cocked. Oh, was, yeah. That, oh, I just moved it. It was. It was. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Um, that seven hits? Is it? Is that seven hits? Yeah, seven hits. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So seven hits, saving on four plus one, two, two. Plus five, five Billman. Now that will bring them to a state of being daunted. Because they are now two. So at the end of the turn, they're gonna to have to do a, a, a daunted test. Okay. Uh, and then he's gonna, with his last order, order these guys mm -hmm. to advance and shoot. shoot. All right, so six inches forward. What there? Yep, which will bring them into long range shooting. So 12 dice hitting on sixes. Oh, and uh, I've got a. Can I get two arrow markers? Please. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. That was their first shot, wasn't it? It was, yeah, for both of them. Uh, but he fired twice. So, yeah. So, so he's fired one. twice, yep. and he's going to fire once. That's both. Two shots from him, yep. and one shot from him. Hitting on sixes. 
three, three hits. Okay, three hits. Saving on four plus. Oh, sorry, five plus. Oh, no, no saves. So Seven. she's. They're also going to have to do a test. Jeez, my archers are really getting chewed up. Well, oh, and the billmen. <laughs> the billmen and the archers on, on the flanks of. Well, anyway, so that's Henry's two commands done. That's commander. <laughs> uh, oh, bonus card. Let's see if I can get one. Four again. I am nothing if not consistent. One. All right, that's a one. So I finally get a card. Hallelujah. All right. So I'll draw my bonus card. Okay. That's a good card to have. The bonus card I drew was Perk, which means I get a free single action from an unengaged uh, friendly unit. Next card out is Talbot. Ah! The Pike. Move, move. Yep. <laughs> Let's get a move on, boys. So 12 inches is if they go move, move. Yeah. So they're like, yep. You don't throw a pike at someone, get stuck in. So that's, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, funnily enough, not far behind. See, this is the real threat. Fortunately, we've got men at arms there um, facing off against those pikemen. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's Talbot done. And, uh, is that guy actually, is that a commander? No, 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 okay. no, no. They're just under command of Richard. Okay, so it'll, it'll be a dice then for yeah. the archers. Um, Oxford. Well, yeah, that's now, his. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Oxford's come up. He's gone, well, Richard, Henry's told my boys already to move. Yeah, so they'll move. Oh, uh, but they fire this turn. They can't go be No, 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 no sir, these guys. Oh, I see. yeah, of course, yeah. They're the only ones who have it. Yeah. So, so it's advance and fire. Okay, fair enough. So that's six that inches. Sense. Yeah. And then I'll one loose. And then I'll need another um, thingy. Yeah. So he'll loose. Yeah. So 12 shots, hitting on sixes. Now he could give the command to shoot at these guys if he wanted. They're in arc, They're and he is under command. Oh, yes. So, so yes, yes. Yeah. At, the, at the ones so who are gang up, He's going to gang up on the... On the billmen. Billmen. Because, yeah, it's what we Shoot do. at those billmen. What about the archers directly to our front, sir? Shoot at the billmen. <laughs> Both on lava. Like, who's in charge here? Yeah. <laughs> but they can shoot back. Yeah, but they've got big choppy things. <laughs> they've got big choppy things. We don't like choppy things. Big thing. Okay, hitting on sixes. Oh, don't tell me, not a single hit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that first shot was a ranging shot. It's like, oh, ah. oh man. <laughs> yeah, he's still got two commands left. He can't get the guys to shoot and he can't get the pikemen, but, but he could order the cannon to fire, for example. The cannon's oh, there's only five. What am I talking about? Yeah, well, he's done. He's done. He's nothing else it's to just... add to it. Uh, Yorker skirmishes and artillery. Like I said, we have been, like, just super, super fortunate that these guys have come dashing forward through through Norfolk's ranks and go, shoot at those guys. Shoot, shoot at Oxford. Because he hates him. Yeah. And he gets three hits. And no saves. So three archers get sh gunned down. This has been the worst turn. It hasn't been a good one, that's no, for sure. It's just like, ah, we're, getting, <laughs> we're getting a shot. Do um, something, you buff heads. Yeah. Okay, so three casualties on there. You have a kingdom to win. And then the cannon will shoot through here, yeah. them. Uh, so, boom, boom. So he's going to shoot boom, through boom, at the boom, cannon. Go the guns. Yeah. No hits. And then. What well, was a six? Uh, no, I don't think it was. What was it? Was a six there? I don't think there was a six there. No, but you just rolled three, right? Yeah, three dice. There was a six there. I thought so. Mm. <laughs> 
Let's consult the book of words. All right, yeah, so. That was a hit. So one hit on the cannon, yeah. and then six dice, and they're gonna shoot through here at these archers. No hits, and no ones. All right, so the next card is bonus card. Oh, that's cocked. Three, four, four. you get it. Yeah. There's one, okay. But I'm gonna play my perk card now. Oh, this turn. So I get a free go with an unengaged unit. I'm so gonna, you're gonna, and you're draw gonna, a special event. Oh yeah, you draw your special event because they do carry on. And this is the last card in the deck, which is Northumberland, which is appropriate. So I'm just gonna use my perk um, before the turn ends. And the perk will be a free bonus move with an unengaged or a free I'm going to get these archers here to shoot at the pike block. Is it a bonus move? No, no, action. it's an action. Take so just, just 12 shots. So they're just going to shoot. So it's 15 inches, that's 12, Hitting on sixes. Another three. I'll hit on sixes. Two hits. So they've got two hits on the pike, they save on four plus. Oh, so, well, one die. We killed the pike man. So one pike man goes. <laughs> and one shot from these archers. And that's the end of the okay, turn. So my skirmishers. Yep. One D6, they've lost three. Yep. Six, six. They pass. They pass. They're still there. Your now, Billman? Yeah. Now, they've they lost, lost seven. Okay. Oh, sorry, eight. Right. Oh, four. Four is broken. Oh. Now I need to check. Oh, no. That's okay. If they break, they just go. Right, so they've routed through them. Yep. So they. Okay, well, let's, let's just. Yeah. You know, do this. Uh, yeah. Uh, routing. Where would routing be? Well, it's under breaking, so it's a morale thing. Mm. So fail, if the blah, 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 blah. If uh, the result is broken troops and any leaves attached except the hero, yeah. uh, must route, move directly 12 inches away. Way. So, yeah. Okay, so 12 inches would be to here. Yeah. So they've routed to there. The unit then scatters to the four That's ribs. Right. And, and the unit just goes, woof. So, so, so they, they must test. That test, and then these must test, and then these must test, and these must test because they're all the same all within quality, 12, yeah. and they're all within twelve yeah. inches yeah. of the yeah. unit going poop. And that gun must test. Yeah, and then but then these guys should test first. Yeah, that whole line has to actually test. Yeah, yeah. because they're all within twelve yeah. inches, so everyone must but, test. But shouldn't you do those guys first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, then test everyone else. Yeah. So, but we. No, because... Because it's done in the sequence. Sequence. Yeah. So that one triggers a test for all these guys. Yeah. Then, if that one breaks, that one will trigger a test for all these guys. Okay. It, like, it's a cascading effect. effect. Yeah. yeah. So, these guys have no casualties. Okay. So, they should be fine. Seven, yep. Pass. Pass. These archers here, they've got no casualties. Four. Uh, Daunted? Broken. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they'll go 12 inches of it and they'll break, which will cause these guys to test. Okay. okay. I'm even though they have no casualties, I'm using the one line. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. nothing for zero. Yeah, look, the bottom line is if you have to do a test yeah. and you roll a four, you, you, you break. It's as simple as that. Yeah. If you have to do a test and you roll a four on 2d6. Yeah, but no, checking, checking the morale price, if the resulting dice is five or more and greater than that, the number of losses sustained by the entry. Yeah, so in other words, consult the chart. Passes the test. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But if the resulting score is. But equal or less than the number of losses. Then if the result is, is four or less, the, the unit, unit is, is broken. broken. Yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty clear. If yeah. the result is four or less, the yeah. unit breaks. So that's it's as simple as that. There's no. Yeah, you know, how. They just obviously got panicked. Yeah. They see these men at arms flying past them, so they must break. Yeah. Okay, so, these guys will test. Yeah. Seven, they're, they're fine. 
They've got no casualties on yeah. them. So that's, that's, that's not a problem. These guys um, here have got no casualties on them. Ah, yep, eight. They've passed. Yeah. Now, these guys here, oh, oh, I might as well do these men at arms. Well, yeah, because again. Or guns. Yeah. Eight. They're fine. Four. Break. So those gunners were out. Yeah. Pulling their gun off with them. Um, the men at arms. The men at arms. Okay, this is a huge mistake here. Uh, these men at arms do not test uh, because the only thing that triggers men at arms uh, doing a morale test uh, for routing friends is other men at arms oh, or three. knights. Oh, the whole line's collapsing. <laughs> oh, Oxford's just, everything's just falling apart. The king apart. is like, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, well, we... the, those archers? Yeah. 10. Well, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're braver than the knights. Yeah. <laughs> Um, these guys here, oh, four, they're gone. Yeah. Uh, Which means, oh, now do they wow. have to retest now? Well, I guess they would because they would have, they've tested for that unit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a cask, yeah. Be... Six, they're okay. okay. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, no, that's the archers. That's the archers. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. So now those archers. <sighs> yep. Six, Six. They're okay. They're, are they daunted? Well, they've got no casualties, so they're they've okay. Got no casualties passed. Yeah. And that's it. Uh, um, the that woman. Uh, these guys here? Well, they were within 12 when they... Oh, yeah, yeah. These no, guys no, uh, these guys fled. Wow. So yeah, that's yeah. within 12. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're men at arms. Seven. Yeah, seven. They're, they're fine. They're past. Um, the handgunners. Six. Yeah. They passed. passed. They've got no casualties. So, yeah, half the, the line has just gone pop. Most of the archers have fled, yeah. some knights have Holy fled. crap. <laughs> Fortunately, this is just a practice game, so, you know, maybe those knights, those dismounted knights, were just really nervous. Well, we, didn't want, we don't really like Richard anyway, <laughs> apparently. All right. Okay. Everyone's just got, what just happened? All right. That's <laughs> <laughs> like, crap. The whole um, line just, just shattered. Okay. All right, so now, because we're now up to the turn three, yeah. he can now be motivated to come back into the fight. Yeah. Or like an oh, well, so first off. But I have to wait for his card to come up. So smoke away. Or Richard's card to come up. Yeah, smoke away. Take the Order's smoke. back. Yeah. My perk was, yeah, that was useful. <laughs> run away, run away. Um, it's always the case. Brand new, pa brand new painted unit. Yes. <laughs> Never been in the fight. Breaks on its first test. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> yeah, two. <laughs> you used to be the Four, same thing. Uh, six. And uh, uh, in Canada, I was playing with a a guy. Yeah. And we were playing at his place. Yeah. And and it was my and I, my brand new, beautifully painted French. Infantry and yeah. he's just destroyed it with his Austrians like the yeah, first yeah, unit yeah. destroyed. Thanks, thanks for coming. You know, I was like, but they didn't even get to shoot. <laughs> and then his wife started scold. Did you? Did you shoot? Did you destroy Arno's painted unit? <laughs> so all the commands go back into the the center as well. Yeah. Oh well, that shot can come off. Jeez. Yeah. And so what's so like Richard's going to have to pitch in? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, so does anyone's card come out? Did do we miss anyone from that? Did you lose uh, yeah, the commander? No, no, no. There's no no generals have fled. Okay, so, so but Savage, you've pulled out. Yeah, yeah, from yeah. The, Savage okay. is yeah, he's out of there. Okay, uh, because oh, he was on the skirmish, skirmish card anyway. All right, so shuffle a bit more if you want. Okay, so the special scenario rules are for in the Thumberland. He only commits the battle from the turn in which hand-to-hand -hand combat is initiated, right, which was when your guys charged in, yeah. which, which means from here on in, I yeah. can try to initiate him. Um, the Stanleys, from turn three onwards, which is now, mm -hmm. both commanders roll a D6 when a bonus card is drawn. And then we add pluses and minuses. Okay. Um, we both will have plus one because we're both advancing. Mm -hmm. um, Anyway, I'm down and, to 11. And you get another plus one because you've routed more units than I have. It's not the, by the number, it's just more. Okay. So you will have a plus two and I will have a plus one to the dice roll. Okay. Um, 
and we do that at the start of the turn. No, when the bonus deck. And now the bonus is from for him. Oh, I'm so for the sure. stand? I'll just check. I thought for you said when the bonus card. You might be right. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, for Stanley's bonus. And Whereas him, is I just started the turn. As soon as his card comes up, or Richard's card comes up, oh. either or. Okay. It's like, it's, we're having a chat. All right, let's go. Oh. Richard. <laughs> sorry. Okay, Richard's card's come up, and he's going to go, right. How can I, I can't make this any clearer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use all three commands. So it's going to be a plus three. So it's 11. 10, 9, 8. I need an 8 on 2d6 to convince Northumberland. 10. Mm. All right. I have Northumberland. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> you need to get your ass up here, boy. Oh, oh! Northumberland. All right. So Northumberland goes, oh. right, I'm on the job. But now I've got to roll to see what kind of lead Northumberland is. He's normal. Okay. One would be adult. Two is normal. And I really need to get six. So he's going to go, right. Two commands, he's gonna go one for you and one for you. Um, so he'll move the arches forward, so they'll go move, move. Yeah. We're coming, my liege. And then the knights go move, move. Did I mention we were coming? All right. So. so the next card. Thank goodness. Yes. Fucking hell. Who is it? Norfolk. Norfolk, good man. <laughs> we are all three in one go. <laughs> so, all right, well, well, that's only him, him, and him, because he belongs to Richard. Yeah. Um, right, maybe, Falling back would be good, but falling back causes disarray. So we can't be doing that. So I think we need to, well, shoot, shoot. So he's gonna fire twice mm -hmm. at there. Yeah. So he's got no casualties on him. There's archers. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16. So he'll roll these twice, hitting on sixes. Mm -hmm. So 24 dice hitting on sixes. That's one hit. And then we'll roll another lot. Two hits. <sighs> two, that's an underperforming. And so two hits, saving on five plus. Five so archers. No. No, so they got five. five casualties. Getting close to going, right, you guys stay out of it now. Yeah. We'll come through. We've got a um, shot of chopper things oh. in. And so he's just going to, so he's told them to shoot. Yeah. And he's just going to, that's all he's going to do. Okay. He's just going to hold his ground. Talbot, which is your pikeman. Advance. Oh, in their face. In the face. <laughs> <laughs> or he could wheel and go for this pike block and strike them. Oh, because he could hit. Because it's less than 45 degrees, so he can go okay. and forward. He will wheel yeah, and, and charge. charge into him. So that's basically it, that. And then just goes forward, yeah. crash. And he's going with him. Yeah. And he could order the Scottish pikeman to, to just go straight ahead. Yeah. Um, move, move. Yeah. Uh, which gets them so, so how, how yeah. far do they move? It's 12. It's six inches each turn. So, yeah, move, so, move. so that would get them to there. So you could have them heading so like in that direction, which covers... Yeah. Yeah. Just, like that. As long as it doesn't exceed 45, he's yeah good to go. Just so he clears. Yeah. Like that. So they've got one casualty, but that comes from the rear rank, is it? Yeah, but they fight four ranks deep. Yeah. Okay. So there'd be 24 less one, 23 with two automatic hits. Okay, 23. And I will fight with 12 guys. Um, I'm Dillman, so that's 12 guys. And there's no, 12 versus 23. This is not good. There's no leader there. All right. Hitting on four plus. Let's see what they can do. Yeah, 
And you re-roll ones okay. as well because you you're the attacker. Okay. So, so I've got that's the two hits for him. Yep, I've got seven hits. Okay. Yeesh. That's it. Seven hits. So I re-roll ones and yep. I'm hitting on four five. plus. Four plus. Yeah. The first round of melee is always a 50 50. But you re-roll ones as well. Take away the misses. Okay, so, but so well, let me so get the one. get the ones up first. Yeah, let's re-roll them. I'll re-roll them. Okay, and four fives or sixes, yeah, right? Four fives and sixes. So I V's, V's, and V Y's. And so the threes are misses. Okay, right. so that's one, two, three. Jeez, that's a lot of hits. Not surprising. It's a pipe block. Oh, the re-rolls missed. But jeez. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, 14 hits. Okay, so I've got on you 10 hits. Yeah. Uh, sorry, no, uh, 2, 4, 6, 7. So you do your 7, and you've got 10 plus 2. How many, how many did you have? Uh, was it 14? It was 14. 14, yeah. 14 and 2 is 16. 16. Alright. And I've got 7, right? Yeah. And where's my feet? So seven saving on five four, plus. Uh, four, four plus. Four five six. Yes. Uh, but you're veterans, so we roll your ones. Hello. Hi, good. <laughs> No, we're playing a game. Oh, one casualty. Yeah, uh, we're refighting the Battle of Bosworth, remember? Yeah. Yeah, but well, we only did it today. No, no, no. Six. Uh, this afternoon. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, bye, bye. You wiped them out. All right. So you can advance into where they were. Uh, so yes. So you basically go there. And I only got one hit on you. <laughs> it's the pipe block where we... And then you go... Argh. What was that? Oh, it's probably your hit. You're indicating your, your hits. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I think that's pretty much so anyway, so that's Talbot done. Yeah. Fortunately it took him away from Northumberland's good. Bonus now, now we roll. Okay, so you got a plus two. And I have a plus one because I was advancing. So it's two D six. Uh, no, it's one D six I think. I'll just check the, on the how you get them to join your cause. Mm -hmm. So a score of seven. You need to score seven. So you roll your dice, yeah, and you add plus two. Okay, you've got seven. Now, if I get seven as well, it nullifies it. Okay. Okay. So I need, um, I need to roll a five. I need to roll a six. Six. <laughs> I need to roll a six. Five. No. So the Stanleys are now. In your camp. Okay. So at the end of this turn, turn their, card, their comes card comes in. Okay. So you have the Stanleys joining you. Okay. Um, oh dear. <laughs> uh, now these are knights or they're, no light horse. Light horse okay. with a smattering of knights amongst them, which means they're veteran light horse. But they move as they light, light horse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, do we roll for the bonus card? Oh yeah, we got to roll for that. I got a three. You've got it. So you get the bonus card. And you've still got your special event, don't forget. Yeah. Oh jeez. Alright. Lancastrian skirmishes and artillery. Um, well, you've got three skirmishes here. And yeah. you've got a cannon. But he can only shoot straight ahead. That's right. But he can clip. Yeah, yeah, he, I'll, I'll give you a shot at him. Okay, so uh, he'll fire. Yeah. Come play me. And the skirmishers can't really they could shoot at them, or they could move into here and shoot at them. Oh, well, that's what they'll do. They could go, boop, 
That's right. Yeah, they're supported shot. shot for the yeah. They supported shot, for and then the they're going to fire at those guys. Yeah. So uh, I'll do the skirmishers first. Yeah, three dice. Three dice. Hitting on four plus. Ah, uh, five plus. Uh, one hit. Okay. Uh, we save on four plus. Ah, uh, five plus. Five. Nope. So they take casualty. Oh, I have a I have a bolt in my chest. Uh, now it's only four dice for the cannon because they're down the crewman. Yep. Uh, one, one hit. One hit, so they <laughs> Two ones. Ones. They almost blew themselves up. <laughs> Oxford's men take a hit. Uh, I'm going to hit. Your skirmish. Okay. Right. I guess we'll fire through here at them again. Yep. Kablammy. Two hits. Yeah. Yeah, two hits. Well, they'll have to do a daunted test. Yes. Because they're up to seven now, I believe. Yep. Pass. Actually, no. Let's uh, get the dice mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, so I'll put another one of those ones in. Um, that means what's left. Um, yeah, so that's. Oh, hang on, my, my, these skirmishes. Oh, see. So they'll, they'll shoot directly to them. Oh, actually, these, these pikemen are a real threat. So we're going to pour it into them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, one, two, three. Three, three hits. One, one save. Yeah. So two casualties. Yeah. Uh, but it'll be in the in the back of these guys. So they're a different group. Um, where's my casualty? Yeah. Yeah. So it was two hits on them. Two. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, they're sharing the joy around. All right. Um, next one out is Oxford. Oxford. Yeah. That only leaves two cards left. Okay. So he is going to um, spend an order to get these guys to shoot at them. Yep. So that's, I'm down to what? Um, you've got plenty. Uh, yeah, you've lost seven, so five. Yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah, five. Five guys. So if they fire twice, it's 10 guys. Yeah, so they'll fire twice. Yep. And they're shooting at the archers, are they? Yes. So that's, yep. Yeah, why not? Uh, they're the easiest to kill. Yeah. And it's they're in ahead. arms. They're, yeah. they're hard to kill. That's straight ahead. Oops. Yeah. So, so 10. Yeah. 10 dice, hit on sixes. One, two, three, four, five. Five hits. Saving on five plus. One save, four casualties. Ooh, ouch. He's going to spend another order to mm -hmm. tell them to move, move. Yep. Straight ahead. Yep. So will they reach? Not quite. They're coming forward though. They're coming forward. Let's have them. And then his third, because he's a hero. Yep. yep. Um, he's a bit of a legend. Will he could say archer shoot and the men at arms go forward, or he could shoot twice at long range? Yeah, no, he, or he could move and shoot at close range because because if he does that, then he has to split them up, right? Because he can't use one order to yeah. tell them to do something. Ah, uh, that's a mixed block. Yes, he can. So he could go, you shoot, and then I'll move through. Oh, okay, or, yeah, yeah, then we'll do that. Yeah. So we'll fire one. Okay, first of all, yeah, they've fired three times now. Okay. Now they're going to fire twice. They will fire once. Yeah. At, so the half. They're they're down three. Yeah. So there's. Oh, he's down three guys. So he would fire with nine guys. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He's down three guys. Oh, it's twelve guys. Yeah, it's twelve guys in each block. Nine guys. Yep. Yeah. 
storm of arrows, an arrow storm with it. So nine dice hitting on sixes. Be a minute, arms. There's a bad arrows like mosquitoes. We don't care. Uh, Hit on sixes. One. They're like, ah, I don't care about the arrows. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, and then uh, so they fired one. Uh, yeah, yeah. They advance six. Yeah. Just press them. Yep. Yeah. Oxford's going right. I'll have and you. I'll have you, Norfolk. He's with them, obviously. Uh, and then that's his three. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, hang on. Uh, just wanted to check my. But Henry hasn't been activated this turn. Um, so I'm going to use. Hang yep. on. I'm going to use my perk. Yep. Which is take a free action with one unengaged okay. friendly unit. Yep. Um, so they are going to. Uh, now, archers firing at skirmishers. Yep. This is a close range. Does that yep. matter? No. No, they just, they'll just hit on fives and sixes. Okay, so instead, what I'm going to do is move my charge my billman through. Yeah. Move, move. No, only one action. Only one action. One free action, so you can move once. Uh, oh, you could you could advance them. I could advance them and kill all the archers. Yes, that that's a much better, <coughs> that's, a much better <laughs> that's a much better choice. Yep, yep. And this would pretty much win the game. These are the normal Scots, so they don't reroll the ones. No, they reroll ones. Yeah. Because they're attacking. Yeah. It's just it, the casualties that don't re-roll that they suffer. So, so, so if you're if you're a veteran and yeah. you suffer casualties, you re-roll your ones. Ah, oh, okay. Because you're tougher and more yeah. skilled. So they're untouched. So that's twenty-four. Yeah. <laughs> and I have I'm fighting back with six dice. And not even six. Oh yeah, the front rank, which is hard. But I fight with both ranks, so I've got 12 guys, sorry, 11 guys, half, grounded up, six. I hit on four plus. I've done three casualties. Oh, jeez. Okay, so. B's, I, V's, and B's, I's, okay. and then all your ones. So, so we re so, again. So, one. Was that the one? Yeah, they're okay. ones. ones. Okay, so let me get rid of the twos and the yeah, threes. And I'll grab your B's and, and B, 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 I's, and I, V's, and stuff. Oh, jeez. All right, so they're all going to die. That's pretty obvious. This is a great case of overkill. Yeah, all right, so I'll re-roll these. <laughs> and if I, if I manage to roll... Okay, dead, dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten dead. Mm -hmm. um, and they're saving on fours, four, right? Four, okay, so. ten dead. There's two, one. There's a guy left that's destroyed. So that would test its no. test, but anyway. Yeah, so the. Yeah, but they had to test anyway. Yeah, and so that would be game. Yeah. Because Oxford's command is destroyed. Mm -hmm. Well, that's Oxford's command gone. Yeah. And once Oxford's command's gone, that's game. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, because that just leaves Richard and that's it. And then the standard. And these guys would, you know, there's a chance that these guys would route. There's always a chance that they oh, yeah. because they'd have to test. No, they passed. Yeah. Uh, the men at arms. Oh, Ooh, just. Just. Uh, knights don't test because, yeah, yeah. actually, the men at arms wouldn't have tested because they're beneath them. Yeah, yeah. Um, Which means they wouldn't test because they're men at arms. Yeah, men at arms. And these guys don't have to and test. They're too far away. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's all that's left. So they've just gone poof. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I mean, at that point, like, yeah. Oxford just completely been rolled up. Um, yeah, that's game. Richard has survived at least. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing he went back. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs>
It's all over, guys. It's all over. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Stanleys are going. North is like, yeah, get me someone, get me a horse. <laughs> I'll help. I'll help now. Yeah, even they're pretty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's the scenario. I don't. I, I think it works well. Yeah. I think well, I think too because it's going to be a multiplayer one. Yeah. Everyone gets to do something. Yeah. But it's. Uh, but the thing is, it's. I think um, all the. Because it, 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 from turn three onwards, you start dicing for these, and you want mm -hmm. to, you know. And if if he rolls, if he scores the seven, all this guy does have to do is score a seven as well, and it yeah. keep, keeps him out of it. It's um. And you well, and it was within one. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. There was not much in it. It yeah. was close. He still like went. Yeah. So he's going to ride off and go. Okay, kill Lord Sam. Uh, kill Stanley's son, will you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I really think that's wise at this point. Yeah, yeah I do. <laughs> well, that concludes my first attempt at this scenario or designing this scenario. I think um, some of the options I might have to look at is either fighting across the table as opposed to along the length of it and moving that marshy ground into a more central position on the table. Um, that would uh, facilitate a situation where if uh, the Stanleys commit to the Tudors, Henry Tudor's cause, um, there's the option for them from either swinging around the swamp and falling on Richard's left rear flank, or maybe um, if um, um, if the battle plays out a different way, maybe coming in um, directly to the south of that marshy ground. But either way, um, I've got a week until I have to host this game at Charlcon. Um, hope you found it interesting. Uh, and as Ginger would say, like, share and subscribe. And please leave any comments that you might have, criticisms below. Um, until next time, you